people of Reddit, what's the mystery that still hasn't been solved? The Brandon Lawson case. Guy runs out of gas on a highway, calls his brother to help him get gas, then makes a 911 call telling them to send the police, recordings available on YouTube, then disappears. When his brother and the police arrived his truck was still sitting there. In the 80s, my sister, age 10, Cassie, ran away from my dad's house in Portland. They found her stuff at a gas station a couple days later, but she was never seen again. Later, a guy said he killed her, but then said he was only lying to get on TV and got alibied. They never found a body or any other suspects. Who is the piece of shit that took a bite out of my cousin's dog? The dog had a human sized mouth chunk missing out of it. Vet said most likely human. But who the duck does something like that? Bite a chunk out of a dog. And he lives in a nice neighborhood. Matter fact in any neighborhood this is weird. How consciousness works. Jack the Ripper and the Atlas Vampire. Zodiac Killer. I think one of their letters have been decrypted recently, but it didn't bring them any closer to finding them. Just read about the fact that the Quran mentions a people called Sabians as fellow people of the book, along with Christians and Jews. Yet modern scholars have no idea who or what the Sabians were. Where do the socks go in the dryer? Seriously. I live alone. Where the duck are my socks? Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 Disappearance Still bothers me to this day. The Boeing 777 departed from Kuala Lumpur with 239 people on board on the 8th of March 2014. But 40 minutes into what should have been a 6 hour flight to Beijing. The plane diverted from its scheduled route and flew towards the southern Indian Ocean. The flight then simply disappeared from radars. Sparking a multi-million dollar international search and salvage operation that was eventually called off in 2018 after no leads were found. Scattered pieces of debris that washed ashore on African beaches and Indian Ocean Islands indicate MH370 crashed in a distant stretch of the ocean. But a multi-government search by Australia, Malaysia and China failed to pinpoint a location. Greek fire. It was basically napalm that cold be extinguished with water. When the toast comes out of the toaster, where did the bread go? Top 10 questions science can't answer. Is there life beyond earth? Life on Mars? What happened to listen Froon and Chris Kramers? Who took those creepy photographs? Why did they have wrong password attempts on their phones? This is probably one of the scariest unsolved mysteries I've ever come across. Oak Island, Nova Scotia. Something's buried there, and who knows what it is. I've been following this mystery long before the History Channel got a hold of it and ruined it. TLDR. I don't know why my dad's parents even got married. And I don't know why they hated each other so much. I will probably never find out. First of all, my grandparents on both sides all divorced before I was born. I knew and had a relationship with all of them. I just never had an intact set of grandparents. My mom's parents have a straightforward story. My grandpa had an affair, and they split up a few years before my parents married. My grandpa married the other woman, and by the time grandchildren turned up things had settled down and mellowed out. My grandma and my step-grandma now get together at family events, and drink a lot of wine and bitch about all the obnoxious shit my grandpa does. Everyone's cool. My dad's parents are a different story. They h-a-t-e-d each other, like, a lot. They ended up getting divorced when my dad, their oldest son, was 15 or 16. This was back in the early slash mid 1970s, when divorce just wasn't done. Also my grandparents were slash are Catholic, and my grandpa was very Catholic, and they both believed that getting a divorce was still totally against the church. They hated each other so much that they were willing to risk social suicide and also serve time in purgatory just to be rid of each other. After that, they promptly pretended the other didn't exist. They didn't even shit. Talk each other, which is sort of what you expect when people who hate each other get divorced. I don't know how to explain it because it sounds ridiculous even to me, but my grandparents completely expunged one another from their lives and did it so thoroughly that it didn't occur to me until I was like 10 years old that they even knew each other. I'm not exaggerating at all when I say that I never once, ever, 
saw them in the same room together. I didn't even see them in the same building together. While they both talked about the past and told stories of my dad and uncles as kids, they never once mentioned the other. No one else so much as mentioned one of them in front of the other. They didn't have family photos of each other. I don't think I saw a single photo of the two of them together. And I'm not even sure such photos exist. Like, everyone in my grandpa's presence pretended my grandma didn't exist. And vice versa. Literally the only evidence that the two of them ever knew each other was that my dad and his two brothers existed. As an adult, I understand this is fucking insane. But as a child it was just a feature of my life and it never occurred to me to question it. I have no idea, absolutely none at all, why this happened. I'll probably never find out. My grandfather passed away 15 years ago, and my grandma has been slowly losing a battle with dementia for a decade, and if anyone else knows anything they are probably taking it to the grave. I have a wild theory that my grandma might be a secret lesbian. But I freely admit this is just wild speculation born out of a complete information vacuum. My grandma was never in another relationship again. My grandpa did get remarried when I was a young child. But it came out that she was just after his money and he divorced her as well. In for a penny. In for a pound. I guess. Already due in purgatory. And one more wouldn't make a difference. The third time. He didn't bother getting married. He spent the last seven or so years of his life living pretty openly and unashamedly unmarried with a woman who was a sulfur, very catholic, b, divorced, and c, had at one point taken vows and been a nun. The end. If I had the opportunity to go back in time and watch a single even unfold without being affected by it slash not being able to influence it is the still unsolved diet love pass incident. In 1959 a group of 8 hikers died under circumstances so strange that it was either the single greatest perfect crime or the work of extraterrestrial beings. Whatever happened, it is still unsolved and will never be solved. What happens to some of the people that disappear in national forests? Yes, yeah, some remains are found here and there but some are just gone. All of the people who have vanished without a trace in national parks and have never been found. Some have even had huge manhunts with hundreds of people, dogs, and helicopters searching, and still so many bodies are never even recovered. Please subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.